Like many of the anime viewing elite of the old guard, I am not a fan of watching anime in the English dubbed over the English subtitled release. Yes, the classic dub over sub debate. In the past, I would have called a viewer who chooses to partake in a dub fake, a filthy normie. But times are changing and anime is evolving. Dubs in the 90s and early 2000s were just plain bad. So you can see why an anime fan from that era would not want to watch that. The western investment to get the top English acting talent never became a standard until around the 2010s. I have however stuck to my old beliefs until lately. You see, because I am also afflicted by slow reading. Despite having university postgraduate education, I read extremely slowly. When I was faced with an anime that has fast paced quips and witty lines barraging the screen, I quite simply could not keep up. So while everyone was being blown away by the quality of Kaguya Sama's screenplay, I had to put it down. There was also no hope of a dub on its initial release, but then Funimation came to the rescue with a dub. With that, I not only got to watch Kaguya in dubbed, but it forever changed my view on anime dubs. Hi everyone, welcome to Aniprop, please like and subscribe, then check out my new intro. <coughs> Let me know what you think of the new intro in the comments. In 2019, Aniplex released Kaguya Samo Love is War to Western markets in subbed only format. But lucky for me, Funimation, which is now technically Crunchyroll, acquired the license for Kaguya Samo. They released the second season with an English dub and returned to give the first season an English dub as well. This culminated in the third season, Kaguya, Love is War Ultra Romantic, which at the time of recording this is the highest ever rated anime on my anime list. It was only because of this dub that I was able to partake in this historic series. Despite its savior status, there are those that would blaspheme and denigrate the great dub. The primary criticism I have noted from the interwebs is about the narrator. In the Japanese dub, the narrator delivers his line in as neutral a manner as possible, but in the English dub, the narrator laughs at the jokes and even contributes to the happenings instead of being a purely neutral third party. There are those of the belief that this approach prevents the comedy from landing as designed. I can kind of see this argument cause honestly, I see where a stiff upper lip with a delivery juxtaposed against the wackiness, the wackiness of the hijinks could escalate the comedy. But I don't think this is serious enough a point to detract from the glory of this dub. The naysayers also point out the casting as being under the par. They say that Kaguya's voice in the English dub is too warm and doesn't reflect her cold upbringing, while Fujiwara's voice isn't feminine enough. These two feel like minor complaints, when the slow among us wouldn't even have even been able to experience the anime were it not for this dub. This is just a quick video to praise the dub that changed my mind on watching subbed over dubbed. From now on, I'll be watching everything in English dub. Thanks for watching today, don't unsubscribe and see you next time.